Well, I had a request for this song. A few years ago when, uh, several, actually, quite a few years ago, when I was thinking about moving to Nashville, I, I made a couple different trips to Nashville, and I was down here for a couple weeks on, on this one particular trip, and uh, during this, this time, my grandparents had, uh, they were, they, they, they'd moved to Tucson from Minneapolis some years before that, like in their mid to late 70s, to get away from the kids, and um, they were now in their late 90s, and uh, they were, my, my grandmother had fallen and broken her hip, and so my dad had to go through this thing of bringing them both back up to Minneapolis, where all the kids were, and uh, so before I left, my grandmother was in the hospital, and uh, she was one of these real, really determined and uh, uh, strong-willed German ladies, just a sweet woman, and uh, but she, that was at a time when, you know, we, you break your hip, and that's kind of it, and she didn't, she kind of made up her mind that this, uh, she just didn't want to go on that way, so she quit eating, and in, and uh, really in a relatively no time, she just kind of lost touch with everybody, and didn't hardly, really didn't recognize anybody, kind of recognized my dad a little bit, but uh, um, while I was down in Nashville, my, my grandfather had a seizure and uh, they put him in the hospital and they found out he had an inoperable brain tumor that, which he'd had for years and it was benign but the, he was, it was just too large and they couldn't do anything with it and uh, so ironically he was put in the same hospital on a different floor and when I came back I, uh, I asked, I went to see my grandmother and she of course didn't know uh, who I was which uh, it was really kind of hard to take at the time, and, and uh, I went up to see my grand grandfather, and I, I, I asked my asked the nurse if anybody had brought him down to, to see her and and uh, see my grandmother, and and he said she said well no I, nobody really thought of it I guess because she didn't recognize anybody, and so I asked him if he would, he wanted to go see her, and he said oh yeah, that'd be great. So he. Uh, I wheeled him on the elevator, and he was one of these guys that he he never knew met, knew a stranger, and he was the most positive human being in the world. I mean, everything was something. He always had this smile on his face, and um, I wheeled him on the elevator and then down to her room. And as I I wheeled him in the in the doorway, uh, the bed was over here, and I wheeled him around the bed, and she was laying kind of sit, sit up and, and she saw him didn't it was like I wasn't even there and she saw him and he, she was just like this as I wheel, wheeled him around the bed and he had this big smile and and uh, he, he it was starting to affect his light, eyesight a little bit but anyway he started uh, picked up her one hand started stroking her head and he kept saying look at them hair nobody has hair like grandma look at them hair and uh she just kept staring at him, and I, th I thought, and they just were locked. And finally, she said, and, and this is a little bit different than the song is. She said, "Where you been?" <laughs> <laughs> but I just lost it, and that was really the last thing she ever said. And uh, so uh, I was telling my friend Don Henry about this, and uh, he said, you, we, "I was thinking about writing this song," and uh, um, uh, he. Uh, he said, we gotta write it, and I was very scared to write it, and, and we wrote the song, and uh, and it, the song went around, I don't know how much you're gonna use this, but I'll give you some other, but this, uh, the song went around town for like two years, and everybody was afraid to record it, and uh, uh, it was for an NEA showcase, I, I played here at the Bluebird, and, and uh, my, my wife Kathy was here, and I played it, and she saw the reaction that it got, she went back to her producer and Alan Reynolds and, and said, we, we, we have to record this song. So, so they recorded it as a, as a kind of a closing piece on a record. It had cello and, you know, very low key. And interestingly enough, that same night there was a cancellation. And so uh, they had another guy fill in and uh, his name was Garth Brooks and he got his record deal that night, same night. So anyway, this, I wrote this with Don Henry.
touched his face and shook her head in disbelief she sighed and said in many dreams I've held you near now at last you're Thank you. 